Hi guys, it's Tracy from Stampin' Away with Tracy, and I want to show you what I've created for my girlfriend for her birthday. I want to give her a gift card, but I wanted to do a fancy holder for the gift card. So I'm going to show you what we're going to do with that. Today we're using Grapefruit Grove and Rich Razzleberry. And most of all the products we're using is out of the mini catalog. And if you don't have a demonstrator and you would like a catalog, Below this video, I will have a link to my Google Drive. Just sign up for that and put your complete address and I'll send you a catalog. If you add your email address, I'll put you on my mailing list. And if you give me your birth date, I'll send you a handmade card. It's kind of a threefer on my Google Drive there. So let me show you the first project we're going to be doing. Oh my gosh, is this not cute? I love that. And you just can slide the gift card right in here. Makes it just a little bit nicer. And this is such a nice size bag. Folded, let me measure it. Folded, it's almost five inches by, almost, uh, by six inches. So it's a really nice little bag. And I thought I could put the whole gift card in because I always put the receipt in just to make sure that it works well. So let's get started. And we're also going to make a card. So stay with us. This is the bag. These are in the annual catalog. Um, so you can get them from the annual catalog. Now, the what we're using today are the P painted poppies and the peaceful moments and the matching die sets. Now, these are on page 25 on the annual catalog. Let me get a catalog and show you. This is the catalog, the mini catalog. It's good until the 1st of June. Now, if you're interested in our celebration, you've got to order by the 31st of March of 2020. So it doesn't give you a lot of time to do that. So you'll have to go ahead and put that order in. I'll put the links below if anyone's interested in looking at them. But the Peaceful Poppies is on page 24 and 25. And we're actually do, working with these two right here, and we're gonna use some sequins. And I've told you all this before, I always buy the sequins and the matching things, whether I buy the whole suite or not, because I can use them on other projects, because um, all of the colors will link with other things. So, that's what we're gonna be using today. Now, this is what we're gonna do. Basically, I wanted this card to be, the outside package to be kind of simple. So, it's not really a fancy one. The first thing we're gonna do is, I'm gonna put you're the best. I'm doing that card we're gonna make, I'm gonna do happy birthday, but for this, I wanted to do you're the best. For this, this is, I used the two punches. I used one and a half and one and three fourths. And all I'm going to do is adhere them together. But this one, I actually put through the embossing folder and I used the Parisian Flourish embossing folder. And you're gonna see why I picked that one in just a second. So now we're just gonna adhere these two together. And remember, we're using Rich Razzleberry and Grapefruit Grove. Now, don't forget, Grapefruit Grove, if I'm not mistaken, is going to retire in June. So, if you love this color as much as I do, you'd better get some extra paper. Already ordered mine. So, we're going to do, this is one of them. Then, also, I have some, let me see if I have an extra one. It's in the other, here we go. Here's the other flower. So, the first thing we're going to do, we've cut out these leaves, and I have used pear pizzazz on these. You could use any of our greens would be great, but I just wanted to add a little, some extra color. So, that's where I'm going to start with, <clears throat> putting my leaves down. Now, you can just use your liquid, multi-purpose liquid, just a touch. You can just barely squeeze it on the leaves and it'll come out, it won't be a problem. So go ahead and put those down. Then we're gonna get the other leaf, 
Now remember, I showed you the die sets. We've used the same die sets through this whole project. Uh, I just love them. And there's so much you can do with them. They're so pretty. So we're going to go ahead and put the other leaf here. Okay? Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put this next. But I want to figure out kind of where I'm going to put it. So you kind of kind of play around with it when you place your other flowers. I want to put one on top. I kind of want to slide one underneath. And then this one, the larger flower, I just want to pop up. Okay. So I can take the other pieces away. That's how I kind of do it. I kind of work with it a little bit before I put an adhesive on it just to see what I'm going to do with it. Okay, that's adhered down. Now, put a little adhesive on the back of the flower. I want to face it about right here. Okay. Now you want to go ahead and put your second flower down if you're going to pop your middle one up. Because sometimes I find that I can't slide it underneath if I do it first. There. Now, you're going to get your Stampin' Dimensionals and pop this up. On that and basically this little gift bag is done you can just fold the top down and you're you're ready to go it's actually done for you so that was really easy and if you're doing this for a party or little favors for a party this would be so easy to do and create now look how cute that is you just fold this down slide your gift card in it's beautiful Great for a party, great for your co-workers too. Um, so that's easy. Now, that was our first part of it. This is our second part. We're gonna do a happy birthday card. We're gonna use Grapefruit Grove Base. I cut it at five and a half and I scored it at four and a quarter from both ends so that it'll be right in the middle. My next layering piece is just four inches by five and a quarter, and I actually used the Parisian Flourish embossing folder. So that's kind of how why I used it on the other piece. So we've got this. Now, basically, with these die sets, with these die sets, all you do is layer. Let me show you. So you cut this one out, and then this is the layer that goes over it. And then this is your center. So they're definitely just layering dies on this. Now, the same with the leaves. You layer this one with this leaf on the die, excuse me, on the die set. You layer those two. When you layer these two, cut them out of any green you like. It's certainly up to you. This is what you're going to come out with. Look how pretty that is with that layered effect. Look how pretty that is. And I use two different greens. I've got Old Olive and Pear Pizzazz. And they're really pretty. Adds a lot to your project. Okay, so... I'm going to put these back. There's also layering leaves in this one, too. I didn't use it on this project, but there's layering leaves. This leaf layers over this one, like that. So, they also, so this whole die set, and this whole set really is just layering. And you can do as much or as little layering as you like. Whatever's, whatever's, you know, your taste. Okay, the next thing we're going to do is... I've already layered some of these, and some of these I haven't, so I'm going to show you how to do it. Here's our leaves. I've already layered some of the leaves. And let me put just a tiny bit of glue here. Okay. And there you go. Now, I'm going to layer the leaves, and then I'm going to show you how to layer a set of leaves. So we're going to do that, because I kind of wanted... 
three on this card. So we're going to do one like this. Now we're going to layer this leaf. Or maybe we won't do three. I don't know. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so we put just a little bit of liquid adhesive. Just just a tiny bit of pressure. And if you keep your multi-purpose liquid upside down, like this, you will always have glue at the tip and you won't blow out air when you get to use it. So pick it up and layer it down. That is all you do. That's it. And you get that effect. So that is such a pretty effect. Okay. So, I'm thinking about using leaves, three leaves. So, let's kind of work with this. We've already put this one together. Pretty. Now, I've already put this one together, but I left one to show you how we're going to put it together. Okay, let's see how this works. Not sure yet. Okay. Okay. That's how I do it. I just kind of fiddle with it and make sure I like it. Okay, now we're gonna build one with these pieces and I'm gonna show you how to build it. It's very simple. Okay, you cut this out with your die with whatever color you want. This is your building piece on top of it. You put just a little bit of liquid glue. Just touch it here and there with just the tip, just like I'm doing. Usually you can spread it from the middle and get enough. Okay, so I just pick my die up like this in my hand and you just put it on. And that's really all you do. And what a pretty effect, just that. Now, we're gonna put the center in. You don't have to use the center or you can use the center. I just wanna show you all how to do it and how these build together on this die set. They just come right together. Put that down there and there you go. The glue will dry clear. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's just really, really pretty. Okay, so we're still building. And I really like that, just like that. Now, I wanna do this for a happy birthday. So, I used the, forgot my color, <laughs> Grapefruit Grove. And then I used the Rich Razzleberry ink, okay, on this. And I punched it out with the lovely, Label Me Lovely. Now this is in the mini catalog, so. That's what I did. Now, I want to figure out where I can put this that it's the most effect. You know, do we want to put it there? Or we can move our leaf a little bit down this way and up. And we can slide it over this way. And slide it really underneath the flowers. So not all of the it's gonna show up. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so we're gonna take our pieces off. This is really easy, guys. It's got a lot of pieces, but it's not really hard. So we're gonna start with our leaves. And again, this is why I use multi-purpose liquid glue, so that I can move things around to get it exactly, exactly where I want it. Put multi-purpose liquid on this one. And a bottle of this lasts you all forever. I use it a lot and it lasts really well. I'm going to go ahead and set this one here. Just push the leaves down. There we go. Now we've got our third one. Whoops. You just put some multi-purpose leaves, multi-purpose glue on the leaves like I've been doing and there we go so okay step one our leaves are down so 
we kind of wanted our birthday call, happy birthday to be about right here, remember? Because we wanted the flower here. We want to cover up part of the part of the punch part. So we'll have to scoot that down just a little bit. You want to try to keep your pieces on this card base because remember our other card base I really like that what do y'all think I like that okay so we're going to take it off piece at a time we're going to put the happy birthday down first and I'm going to pop it up so let's put our stamp and dimensionals on it like that then all we do is take the back off of those and it's ready to go. You don't necessarily need to use four. I like to use a little more. I like them to be really solid and not movable. I don't like them to be kind of wonky. But that's personal preference, guys. So, and it went about here. So, okay, that's down. One piece down. Now, We want our larger flower about right here. So what we're gonna do is put our Stampin' Dimensionals on of this, like this. Now, you can also use this stamp set and die set for your scrapbook pages. These flowers would be beautiful beside family pictures, or if you've been someplace, um, seen a pretty beautiful garden, Anything like that would be really nice with these. Oh, okay, they're off. Okay, so we're going to, I want to put it about right there. Then the next thing we're going to do, we're not going to pop these up. So we'll put some multi-purpose glue on it. Since this is popped up, we can kind of slide it in. Did you see how I did that? I just slid it in underneath the large poppy. That's the reason I normally put down my pieces that I'm gonna pop up first. Because if you're gonna work with something around it, you can slide it in, just like I just did. Now, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Now, let's put, gotta find my card stop, here it is. Now, this is actually gonna go on this card stock. Isn't that a beautiful card? I really think my friend is going to love it. So, let's put some multi-purpose glue down. There we go. And, let's see here. I want to go ahead and fold it so I can see it when I put my card on, my card base on. Because sometimes if you can't see it, you certainly can't get it square if you can't see it. So, now that's not even, so let's get it even. That's the good thing about the Marpet Purpose Glue. You can you got a little wiggle room, and that's what I need. Okay. Basically, the card is done. Now, the next thing is I'm going to put a little bit of Wink of Stella in the middle just to give them just a little bit of pop. You don't have to, but I really like a little bit of pop on my cards of something. Now, the last touch we're going to do is we're going to use the Peaceful Poppies sequins. I love these. Now, we're going to get our Take Your Pick tool out. I'm gonna use this end and it's got a little bit of sticky there. You see that? We're gonna reach down in and we've gotten a sequin. See how easy that was? Then you get your glue dots like this. Then, then you get the other end of your take your pick tool. Didn't have it ready, sorry. 
and you just get your little spatula. I don't know if that's what it's really called, but that's what I call it, is a spatula. And go back and get another sequins. I really want a color. There we go. Put it on like that. Get your spatula, pull it up. And just keep repeating the process. I wanted to put a little gold on here. So I got a gold one. And put the gold with that. Pop it up. I'm gonna put this right there on the end. There you go. Look how pretty that is for my friend. I hope she likes it. I really think she will like it. It's gonna show you the bag to get, oh, here it is. And look at this. Look how pretty that is. And that'll be a great set. And the gift card will be beautiful in there. Okay, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my page and don't forget to fill out the Google Drive below and let me know uh, if you want a catalog. If you don't have a demonstrator, I would definitely love to have you as a customer. And don't forget the celebration ends the 31st of March of 2020. Thanks, guys. I hope you have a great day.